Hi guys, White Witch 110 here. I'm going to show you how to make my mom's fried mac and cheese. Hubby's done the macaroni for me. He's having hamburgers. And into it I put some celery, carrots, mushrooms, whatever I happen to have. I usually use fresh mushrooms, but we don't have any. You can even put some meat in it if you want to. It's basically whatever you want. You just put it in there. So I will put some of the macaroni in the fry pan. Next, I'll put all of this in. I've used um, cauliflower in it before, broccoli. I've even used... Um, I've used Brussels sprouts, cabbage, basically anything you can think of. If you have chicken left over or ground beef left over for dinner the night before, you can put that in it. My mom only used cheese. I'm using President's Choice Triple Cheddar. Cheddar is usually the best to use. When it comes to this, the whole idea is to have the cheese melt and get crisp on the bottom. So it's like a waiting game. Use as much wool cheese as you want. And now we'll just let that sit and let it melt. There, see how it's looking. And what you want to do, this is hard to do, is flip it. Now, if you don't think it's enough cheese, you can always add more. I've even put tomatoes in it, which has been really nice. The thing is, you have to scrape it off the bottom. Oh my god, this is already looking so yummy. Wow. Now let me do some scraping. It's not quite there yet. You can see a little bit of the browning right there. This was something Mom would make every Wednesday. Her and Dad had bowling. I didn't like the macaroni with the cheese, so I would just take plain macaroni and put ketchup on it. That was my thing. But as I grow older, I decided to try this and... That was it, I was hooked. Now trying to make it like mom took quite a while for me to, to get it just right. Not the easiest thing to do. You can hear it. I have enough here so that I can have some for lunch tomorrow. Hubby always makes more pasta than I need, so they're still all back. Let me just put that in a bag just to get in the fridge. Okay, let's try flipping it again. Now that's what you want. And there's some there. Nice and crispy. I still eat it with, my, with uh, ketchup. But that's how you want A little bit longer and it will be done. I put carrots, celery, and the canned mushrooms, unfortunately canned, in here. I was hoping for some to be left from the spaghetti sauce, but hubby used them all. Yummy, yummy. And so there it is. So the only thing left is to put some 
ketchup on it. Put a little bit of salt. And that's my dinner. I hope you like it and try to make it. As I said, you can put whatever vegetables you want in it. My tomatoes, green pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, green onions, whatever type of onions you like you could put in here. It really is just whatever you want. But the whole magic is the cheese and it getting nice and crispy. Very, very yummy. It's a comfort food for me. So I hope you try it sometime and I hope to see what it ends up looking like when you make it and what you put in it. Ciao for now.